From the Daily Hodl, we have top crypto analyst predicts Bitcoin will break out and hit 60,000. But there's a catch. All right, guys, here we go. I've been seeing a lot of these articles lately about, oh, it's going to go to the moon. We got the halving coming. Everything's going to go up. It's going to go up. But, 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 but there is a catch. So let's go through this and have some fun with it. All right. This is from the old HODL staff. Uh, not a bad side. It kind of gives you a pulse on what's going on in the crypto world and some banking stuff as well. Uh, stuff that the mainstream uh, propagandist machine will not publish. They will uh, find some good stuff. You will find some good stuff on here. These guys will push it out. Uh, not bad. So go check it out. But again, take it with a grain of salt doubt but verify you can trust but verify but just start off doubting but uh yeah because i don't know it's just all interesting to read through this all right this is from february 9th 2024 a popular popular analyst is predicting that bitcoin will soon make a sudden move to the upside cross a key level in a new strategy session this analyst tells his 57,000 youtube subscribers uh, that Bitcoin is on the verge of breaking out of a resistance level, oh my God, on the weekly chart and could soar more than 32% from its current value. However, <laughs> this is where I love it. This is what I've been saying. However, the analyst warns if the breakout fails that he's predicting, Bitcoin could dip below 40,000. All right, hold that thought. All right, let's go check what's happening. Bitcoin's been moving up the past, uh, since uh, yesterday, past two days, it's been going back from 43, 42, up to 47. Not too shabby. Uh, this is FBT. This is a Fidelity uh, Wise Origin Bitcoin ETF. It's back up to where I bought it. So yay, yay me. Yay me, breaking even. Woohoo. Um, all right, let's go back into it. Just to give you a state of affairs where we are at. All right. However, the analyst warns if the breakout fails, Bitcoin could dip below 40,000. If this breaks out of the 43,622 level on the weekly time frame, this is from the 9th, which is today. So we're already at 47. So I don't know what's going on here. Uh, on the weekly time frame, trust it until it fails. Oh my God. If this breaks out, I don't really see a good reason to be bearish. It doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense. It's a strong chart with a clear direction when you're betting on higher. And if that fails, it's probably going to fail spectacularly. I can't, it's a hard word to say. English hard. If that breakout fails again, like it did with the ETFs, Spot Bitcoin ETF exchange traded fun news. I think it's going to fail hugely. So you are going to get a move lower to the mid 30,000s. So starting from low 40,000s, I think you're going to be invalidated and you just lost a little bit, but you can buy quite a bit cheaper. And if it breaks out, and if it breaks out, if, 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 I think the more likely outcome would be just going higher to the moon, to the next resistance. And the next resistance is 60,000-ish, which would be quite exciting. All right, I read all that just to bore you and just to let you know, this is the same old shtick. First of all, again, I do say doubt but verify, tongue in cheek, but really doubt but verify. Consider the source, follow the money, all that crap literally is like, why is this person saying this? All right, it is a popular crypto analyst. He has a Bitcoin, a Bitcoin, a YouTube channel with 57,000 subs. He needs to keep content up. He needs to keep the LOLs, the likes, the subscribes going. He needs to come up with stuff. So how do you do that? You speak like a politician or a mainstream news person. You can come out and kind of like old Bitcoin Ben in the old days and even the uh, Jack Pusovich when his brothers had their crypto channel a couple of years ago, kept saying $100,000, $100,000, blah, 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 blah. You know, this guy is a former naval intelligence officer. Now he's back to doing uh, politics. So his channel kind of fizzled out. Because uh, crypto corrected, mining went away, blah, 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 for a bit. Uh, what was it? The winner, crypto winner. And now we're kind of back again. But anyway, what these guys say is it can go up. Right? Here we go. 
it can go down. If that fails, it can go down. He doesn't say it could stay, it could do nothing at all. So he doesn't say that. I'll give him credit. So here he is with these damn charts. I hate this stuff. Nobody knows what it's going to do. The old cliches seem to be what's true. And he kind of touched on it here with the ETF thing. You basically buy the rumor, you sell the news. We have a halving coming up. The price may jump up until the halving because it's all kind of rumor. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And then when the happening, the Bitcoin happening happens in April 13th, around that time frame, there is a calendar clock out there on NiceHash on the Bitcoin having countdown. You can Google that yourself and find the results of that clock. Uh, it's just the same old stuff. Like time in the market is better than time in the market. Uh, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news. There's all these things that have been around for years. Why? Because it's true. So this guy is hedging his bets just to get clicks. And just to get me to make a video on it too, right? I just do this because I'm not monetized. I don't make money on YouTube. I just see this stuff and I roll my eyes. And if I'm rolling my eyes, I'll just share it with you guys and let you kind of use your own critical thinking skills like, oh, this YouTube guy here may be correct because he has 57,000 subs. Subs really means nothing. It's the amount of time people watch your videos that counts. So you can always go click and see how many views this guy gets. It's not the subscribers because I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. I don't watch this stuff. I'll see a pop up. It's like, eh, I get it. I don't need to watch it anymore. Kind of like this stupid content I do. Some of it's useful. Some of it's not. Most of it's not. It's just for fun. <laughs> All right. He keeps going with these damn charts. When I see people do this, and they did it on the old Bitcoin Ben channel. I forgot what that channel was called. It's, it seems like it's faded out since he kind of departed ways with those guys. Uh, remember, go up, go down, go sideways or do nothing at all. Just put that in your head and uh, doubt but verify are my expressions I go by. The analyst says if Bitcoin moves to the downside, it'll likely dip below support level 35. That it's such BS because it's always done that. If you look at Bitcoin, like uh, again, before the ETFs, the thing was shooting up to 37, 38,000 or 48, was it 48,000? And then um, it came back down. It's always been going up. It's always been going down. And you can actually, if you have the guts for it, like gambling, again, this is all speculation. This is not financial advice. You can try to play that swings up and down. You may lose everything, <laughs> but you can do it. Uh, as sure as this thing goes up, it's just going to go back down. That's just my experience of what I've been seeing. And I'm not going to come out here and do little graphs like this and draw little candles and trend line analysis. It's just silly, man. It's almost modern day snake, snake oil. Uh, just to get likes. Is this his channel right here? This might be him. I don't know. Bitcoin is trading. Uh, for 45, blah, 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 up 2.5% last 24 hours. Okay. Uh, don't miss a B subscribe. All right. This is just for them putting it out there. Who wrote this? Anyway, I just see this stuff and I just be, be, be weary. And you see all these stuff on these sites. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. Uh, let's see what the mainstream is saying. Let's click on Bitcoin. I, this is my crappy Apple news app. I hate it, but, uh, it does show me some news articles and there's no, oh, that's the wrong one. Bitcoin. Let's see if they're putting any news out. Nah, one day ago, new Bitcoin ETFs are boosting crypto exchanges. And you know what's funny, right? When they uh, got approved and then crypto corrected a little bit. Oh my God, ETFs are destroying Bitcoin. Oh, it's just almost like that crappy Kramer, uh, stupid money on CNBC. It's just, it's all hype. They're all kind of just chasing the dog's tail, putting out stuff to get you like, oh, click on their article. If you like the project, if you like the company, the equity, if you like Bitcoin, buy it. It's all your personal decision. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to any one of these stupid articles where there's, you know, Don, not really even saying anything at all. Lots of words. It's like when you go to those motivational seminars, right? They don't really say anything at all, <laughs> but you gave them 2000 bucks. So yeah, yeah, that's the money maker right there is not telling you how to do something, but selling you a course on how to supposedly do something that they don't know how to do. I don't, you know what I mean? You're selling the course and that's where the money is. Uh, this is all just selling up, down, nothing at all. It's just silly. All right, that's all I got. I just saw this. It kind of just made me roll my eyes. I'm seeing more of these articles lately and now they're even starting to push the altcoins. Oh, altcoins are the next best thing again. We went through this in 2020. Uh, 2020, it's no, no. Just be careful with that crap. Say you do buy these altcoins. Make sure you can get them on an exchange and dump them if you have to. It's going to be quick up and down. Uh, you mine these things or you buy them on these crappy exchanges and you have to do that. Know your customer crap. You better have all that set up to be able to dump it and get your money off 
the crypto once you get the fiat can you move it uh what are the fees blah 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 and if you decide the big ones like bitcoin and i hate to say ethereum i do not like ethereum but if you have those man that's the popular one you can even get it through the etf let them hold the coin manage all that crap because the etfs are actually moving based on the stock uh, the stock price the bitcoin price which you have fbtc it's going up you know let's see does it do percentages oh what happened there 4.6 percent bitcoin went up five percent you know it's a little behind because it's kind of an etf it's not real time following but it is going up pretty damn close to what bitcoin's going up so you can buy it that way and i know on vanguard and fidelity i think you can buy crypto outright but they'll still hold the coins and again remember the warning is not your keys not your coins uh something could happen on these exchanges that these uh houses brokerage houses own and you could lose it all yeah there's no guarantee with that bitcoin stuff uh when you buy through these things but you got the etf maybe a little more secure for the people that don't want to have to hold the crappy stuff in their wallets on their phone and just be uh be worried about losing it or someone stealing it right anyway that's all i got go check out that out daily huddle having said all this stuff and just be weary doubt it verify uh yeah i think things may go up in my opinion based on the having coming but you just don't know there are going to be big swings up and down